Let me introduce you to my final prototype for the equatorial mount um, that is stable and portable and a lot of different configurations. So this is what it looked like. The shell is this. You simply slide it in. There's a battery compartment that's stored here. And it's, it's a position so that it's actually counterweight the imbalance of this axis. So when it rotates, it's actually more balanced. More than that, there is a heat vent in here. So that actually this will warm up the battery as it goes. So that if you're imaging in cold nights, this will actually help that. <clears throat> this is made up of um, the 3D printed parts with a caster that is has wheel bearing. This is on axis to the RA axis. So when it rotates, this will be perfectly stable. Let me show you. More than that, um, there's actually a few um, adjustments. You can adjust the height. So you can do like up and down. That's it. Yeah. Go pretty low. In fact, this one is really just a 20 millimeter rod. So you can actually have a longer rod so that it would actually based on your altitude. Okay. If you want even more refine, uh, refinement, this rod, this rail, actually I have this, which is one of those um, um, <coughs> screw type wheel that adjust heights. And it fit perfectly in here. Watch this. Actually, you can adjust the height as you do equatorial mount alignment. So, it actually, will give you a really fine adjustment. So, in fact, you probably don't even need this, you just need just a simple um, wooden, dot, wooden stick and just use this to adjust the height. And it's very stable. I wouldn't hesitate to use it for my nightly session. Now, there are people who actually want, don't want on the table. So what are you gonna do? So actually, it's very simple. Um, this, you can actually put this in your wedge, just like, so think of this as just a wedge. And I have adapter can actually put a tripod or a monopod on here. This is how it's done. I'm a monopod. It has a quarter inch thread or even a three quart, um, a three eighth inch thread. I have one of these typical adapters they can buy from Amazon. Watch this. So, on top of that, I 3D print a, a second one, exactly like this, but it will fit right in here. So let me do that. There we go. So watch what happened if I attach it here. to remove 
like this. Right there. And I attach this. Okay, so now I attach my monopod to the front of this setting. So in, if you want, it's totally away from table. Think about simply, this is your normal wedge and your tripod here. But now you have a second anchor point supported by monopod or a, in a second tripod. So now you can actually have four legs or six legs to support this equatorial mount. Perfectly stable and it's very kind to your bearings in your RA axis. Another design feature that I want to highlight is that I use a piano, piano hinge to make sure this angle is rock solid and no give. There's no play in this. Before I had a simple uh, hinge, but with this, this perfectly moves well, as we can see. I'm going to go all the way down. So for our members in near equator, like um, in Hong Kong and others, you can re literally rest it this way almost horizontally and it will work and a lot of, most of the weight will be will be supported by this hinge so your RA bearing will be much less stressed I think it's a winner so there you have it the final prototype where I'm going to take it to the field. I'm going to have four of these set up for my personal use. And I think I will go ahead and provide um, and sell these uh, 3D parts and some of these uh, dedicated hardware 